this is huge for Pulse Chain, right? We're going to take a look at this tweet and some Bitcoin news that has just come out that has massive implications. Did you know that while the SEC is busy suing Binance and Coinbase, BlackRock and the biggest banks in the US silently bought records amounts of Bitcoin? These banks are buying Bitcoin in quarter one 2023 include BlackRock, Bank of America, Fidelity. What do they know? And this tweet has 1.5 million views, right? Uh, looking at the largest holders, MicroStrategy stock, we can see some big banks have been buying huge amounts of MicroStrategy. Yes, that's the same MicroStrategy. That, that same MicroStrategy is the largest institutional holder of Bitcoin, owning 140,000 Bitcoin worth over 3 billion. This makes us wonder, right? So then we've got uh, top owners of MicroStrategy. We've got BlackRock right here that is really climbing up. We've got Bank of America as well typing up. We've got all these big institutions. Uh, with recent SEC operation choke point 2.0, why are these banks buying stocks correlated to the Bitcoin price? Considering there is no ETF in the United States, buying micro strategy is the easiest way for some US investors to get exposure to the price of BTC. Now, what does this have to do with Pulse Chain, right? This is one of those things that I think is a huge and exciting part of where we are in the crypto space that most of us don't think about, right? Here, think about this. Five years ago, no, not a lot of institutional action in Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any assets, right? Let's go back 10 years ago. We're talking the early days of Bitcoin. Bitcoin was just a niche product that people thought was just really worthless, right? That will never amount to anything. It was at those times, which was the best time to buy before the institutions. Now, where we are right now, we've got all these cryptocurrencies, right? We've got your Ethereum massive in, in institutional uh, influence you've got your solana massive institutional inf influence you've got matic the same story but that is not yet the story for pulse chain that's where the beauty is right now that for the most part if you still want a coin that is massive retail investors as the fundamental building block that's starting in the same way that bitcoin started the same way that uh, about ethereum started we are st where you're still early where it's still just the ordinary man the ordinary woman getting in I think that th this is the best play that we have right now. Now, we see a lot of excitement around these institutions. But what do you prefer? Do you prefer institutions to be in on the ground floor or you, you or you want them to be the ones that buy your bags from you, right? If you bought Bitcoin at 11 cents and MicroStrategy comes and buys at 69,000 or at 40,000 or at 25,000, that's what you prefer. You prefer them to come and buy your bags uh, later, you expect to build with retail, build with retail, and then over time they can come in, and then that's how uh, the ecosystem grows. And the early adopters, right? Which is uh, Pulse Chain. How old is it now? It's a, it's a couple of weeks. I think about a month old now. And so we are the early money in Pulse Chain, and so the early investors will be the ones who get the biggest massive amounts of gains. From, from this. Now, all in all, it's exciting that we see this action happening with Bitcoin, that we see a lot of new money starting to come in silently at a time where there's max fund, right? So it tells you that behind closed doors, a lot of these big power players are really bullish. Because if you look at BlackRock, they control trillions and trillions of dollars. I did a video on them uh, some time ago. They control trillions. They control more than uh, entire countries now. And the power that they have for, for, for BlackRock, right? I'm just going to throw away num throw out numbers. I don't remember the accurate number They're in the video that I did before. Uh, let's say they control 10 trillion, right? The next other uh, companies, right, are all kind of, they have a relationship with them. So though they might only have their 12 trillion on their, 10 trillion on their books, they also have massive influence on the other uh businesses as well and some some of these other, other institutional players as well these in, investment banks they also have massive influence so their impact their influence is huge these are the people that uh have all global regulators on speed down they can contact anyone they can talk to anyone so if they're buying bitcoin if they want exposure to bitcoin it tells you that possibly behind closed doors the pressure is there is huge and that uh, the floodgates will open and we're going to see massive price performance we're going to see massive adoption institutional massive institutional adoption and that's going to drive the whole ecosystem up now if you're part of an ecosystem that's still young that's still growing that has massive potential that can gain the necessary adoption it's only a matter of time until those institutions start coming. And when they do start coming, it might not be in a year time. It might not be in two years. It might not be in three years. 
But I think at four, at year four, <laughs> it's hard for that not to happen at that point. So all in all, this is something that I think is exciting, exciting for the entire crypto space, but even better for those, uh, what I would like to call those gems that have not yet been discovered yet by mainstream crypto players, by uh, even other mainstream financial players as well. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As usual, not financial advice. Remember to check out uh, check out Pulse Ship, guys. Uh, the Pulse Chain meme coin doing extraordinarily well. Check it out. Thank you guys for watching. And look, prices are still cheap, right? <laughs> prices are still cheap. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.